Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see how to create an authorized view in Google BigQuery. In this demo, we are going to create a data sets and apply access controls to them and assign access controls to our project and we are going to create an authorized view that restricts the data users are able to query. So basically what is a BigQuery? BigQuery is a petabyte scale analytics data warehouse that we can use to run SQL queries over vast amounts of data in near real time. So authorized view means giving a view access to a data set which is also known as a creating an authorized view. So that is the thing. We are going to do this uh, step by step friends. So I am going to elaborate what we are going to do. First we are going to create a source data set and uh, next we are going to create a data set where we can store our view. Next we are going to create the view in the new data set and assign a project level IAM role and assign access controls and authorize the view to access the source data set and finally we are going to verify the configuration. In this tutorial we are going to do these steps only friends. So let's start the demo. So link I have given demo link also. Now this is our GCP console. So this is our GCP console. Now we need to enable the uh, BigQuery API. First we have to enable the BigQuery API. So now I am going to enable the BigQuery API. First enable API and services. Now I am going to find that one BigQuery API. Just uh, enter BigQuery API. If you have not enabled the BigQuery API, you have to enable the API, BigQuery API. So I am I have entered the BigQuery API. I am selecting the BigQuery API now. Now you can see friends already API is enabled. So no need to enable uh, uh, from my side. So you have to enable it if not enabled. Okay. Now we need to create a source data set. So first we are going to create a source data set. So for that we need to go to the BigQuery, Google BigQuery. So here I have selected the uh, Google uh, BigQuery. Now we need to uh, go to the BigQuery. So here we need to select our project. In the explorer panel we need to select the project we want to create the data set. So we, we need to expand the three dot ac accents option and we need to create a data set. Now we need to enter the data set ID. So I am going to update the data set ID uh, name as like uh, github underscore source underscore data. So whatever uh, name you can give it friends. So I am giving the name as github underscore source underscore data. Okay. Now uh, leave the other uh, default settings in the place and we are going to create data set. So left I am going, I am not going to touch anything. So default only create data set. After creating the source data set, it will populate a table in it using a SQL query. This query uh, retrieves data from the GitHub public data set. Now what I am going to do means now I am going to copy paste the uh, query. Okay. So now I have already, uh, uh, I have the document, I mean I, ha I have the document. So select uh, from table name limit 1000. So I am going to paste this uh, query friends, select queries. Now next what we need to do means click more and we need to select query settings. So click more, click more and uh, select query settings and here in destination we need to uh, select a set a destination table for query results. Then we need to update the data set name. So data set name uh, not uh, update we need to verify. So just I am going to type github, just type github underscore source underscore data. So now I am going to type github, uh, github underscore, it is not coming I think, uh, yeah, we need to type github underscore source underscore data. So we need to full, uh, we need to type this, but it is coming error friends. So actually typo error I have done, github g I have updated. So h we need to put github underscore source data. So it is reflecting right now, we need to select uh, our project, I mean github source data. So then we need to update the table name. So whatever name you can update, I am updating as github underscore contributors. Github underscore contributors I am updating. Now uh, rest we need to uh, leave as it is, then I am going to click save. We have successfully uh, saved that one and next we need to click run. Click run. 
Next, when the query completes, click GitHub contributors and then click preview to verify the data was returned to the table. Okay, now you can see friends, results came now. Uh, these are the results, 1 to uh, 1000 uh, rows it is coming, results. Okay, now next step is we need to click uh, the GitHub contributors under the project. So, just click the GitHub contributors, just click the preview. So, you can see it here also friends, the results. Okay, now we are going to move to the next step. So, next step is we are going to create a data set where we can store our view. So, next step we are going to create a data set where we can store our view. So, this is the detail schema you can see that. Okay, so these are the thing. Next, again we are going to create a data set where we can store our view. Okay, so how to do that? Again, the same process only. Go to the project and click, click three uh, options, three dot options, and uh, click create data set. So click uh, three dots and create data set. And now here we need to update the data set name. So I am going to update as uh, shared underscore views shared underscore views so leave the other uh, default settings in place and click create data set so create data set now you can see friends shared views we have created it successfully now next what we need to do means we need to uh, we are going to create the view in the new data set now we need to create the new view in the data set just click the shared views just click the shared views and compose your new query okay now we need to click compose new query and again one more uh, select uh, have uh, given in this documentation so i need to copy paste the select uh, commit from this one i need to replace my project id okay so you have to replace your project id here and we need to copy paste that uh, query select from this query then we need to uh, we need to put this query here and here in in the save drop down list in the query editor select save view so here we need to select this save and here we need to uh, click save view friends so here we need to update the project okay project already updated and data set we need to put shared underscore views okay next is table name we need to type whatever name i am going to type as github underscore unlist underscore view github underscore analyst underscore view so it is your wish friends table name you can give your name as per your wish so i am giving the name as github underscore analyst underscore view this is the table name then we need to click save so we have successfully uh, done it i mean you can see the difference friends under the shared views you can see github analyst view and the icon is different it look like like that only so next step is we need to go to the IAM. So for that I am going to open a new window. So here I am going to paste the same link. Okay, now I am going to go to the IAM. Now we are going to assign a project level IAM role to our data analyst. Analyst. Okay, now go to the IAM and admin. Open the IAM page in the uh, GCP console. And we need to select our project. We need to select our project. Okay now we need to uh, click add okay now it is in our project only no need to worry then we need to click add and here in the add principles dialog we need to update the uh, user id i mean gcp account another gcp account friends this is another uh, gcp account some other account you can give gcp account i am giving uh, this account gcp account in a, a role we need to select the bigquery user role okay I am going to type BigQuery user role. Okay, BigQuery user. Just type BigQuery user. So, BigQuery user. Then, uh, we need to select the BigQuery user. So, here it is coming, friends. BigQuery uh, space user. Okay. So, it is coming third option. BigQuery users. Just select the BigQuery user and click save. That's it. So, we need to click save. So, we have successfully done this step and next step is we need to assign access controls to the data set containing the view so next step we are going to do so for that uh, we need to go to that uh, bigquery in the explorer panel we need to select the shared views data set we need to click the shared views and expand the three dot uh, three dot actions options and click create open now we need to click this three dot friends 
and here just click open just click open so just click open and now we need to click share data set so here we have that option share data set share data set we need to click the share data set so again i am searching friends just uh, just give me a second so here we have the option share just i have clicked okay we need to click that one only friends share okay now we need to in the add principles we need to put the uh, user id just click add principles here add principle so here we have that uh, right we need to click that option then we need to give the mail id we need to click the mail id here uh, new principles and here we need to put uh, vishnu yeah i have selected my uh, gcp account and select a role here we need to type the bigquery data viewer bigquery data viewer we need to click uh, bigquery data viewer we need to select the bigquery data viewer okay now uh, we can save this so we have done it policy has been updated right now next level is next step is we are going to authorize the view to access the source data okay so how to do that for that we need to go to that uh, github source data just click the github source data and expand three options and we need to click open just click open expand that uh, three dot option just click the three dot options and uh, click open three dot options just click the three dot option click open and uh, click sharing uh, and then select authorize view just click uh, sharing and click authorize views in the authorized view span we need to open uh, enter the github analyst view just i am going to enter github underscore analyst underscore view okay github underscore analyst underscore view okay so now we need to click add authorization i have clicked the add authorization and one more time i have clicked it friends sorry for that okay so two times it is coming so duplicate authorized views it is coming okay so sorry for that just click only one time friends add authorization that's it so we need to uh, select that authorized view and click add, add authorization so i am deleting uh, one more time now i am adding it okay so just we need to put one time and just click one time add authorization that's it now we have successfully updated it now we are going to verify the configuration so how to do that so for verifying the configuration we need to go to the bigquery and uh, which account means we need to open the uh, that uh, different uh, gcp account i am going to open the second gcp account this is my second gcp account so here we need to select the google bigquery so go to the bigquery google bigquery so we have given the access friends for this uh, gcp account that's what uh, we are uh, going to check in second uh, gcp account okay whatever we have done in first gcp account so we are going to check in the same in second uh, account so this is my second account gcp account go to the google bigquery so here we need to click uh, compose new query and here i am going to put uh, the select uh, star from uh, query i am going to put so from for that i am going to copy from the documentation so just i am copying the documentation from the i mean i am copying the query from the documentation so uh, this is not the correct one okay this is the correct i mean this uh, gcp account only we need to put it and replace with the project id so i am going to replace with the project id so my project id is uh, tf vishnu tf so i am going to copy uh, my project id so i am going to copy my project id so we need to copy uh, the project id you have to copy your project id friends so we need to copy the project id and replace the project id sad values and get your list view okay now i am going to run this uh, query so you can see the results friends now you can see one two thousands uh, you can see the results so row commit author commit your repo name so we have we got the output also friends successfully we have done the demo whatever we have given the access so it is reflecting right so now you can play with this so i am giving 100 limit is 100 i am getting the 100 uh, results only 100 rows it will come if i am giving 10 then it will come 10 only then whatever uh, column we need for example author committer we want means we can give author or committer we can give we can give author uh, committer 
then I can run this query. I can run this query. So you can see the results here. Author or committer. You can see the results, friends. Now I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to cancel it. So now we are going to uh, delete it. I mean, uh, we are going to check it. So, so next is I'm going to going to that the same uh, GitHub source data authorized view. So here you can see, friends. I have deleted it. Okay. Now I am going to run this query again. I am going to run this query again. So you can see access denied. Okay. So we are getting the error now. Access denied. We are getting the uh, results access denied. So like that only you can also practice, friends. Now I am going to do the same. I am going to type that uh, GitHub analyst view. GitHub analyst view. Then we need to click the uh, GitHub analyst view. Then we can click that uh, authorized uh, add authorization. Now I am going to check it one more time. That's it, friends. So now if you are clicking, definitely it will come. The results it will come. Output it will come. So results it came now. You can see here. Then I am going to close it. Three dots. So just click delete. Or just delete it. So I am going to delete the data set. So whatever we have done. So we have done the demo. So I am deleting this. So just delete it. Just uh, I'm going to delete one more uh, data set also. I'm deleting it, friends. We have successfully done the demo, friends. You can also try from your end. So first we have created the, uh, I mean, we have given the data set. I mean, giving, giving a view access to a data set. So that's what we have done. That is known as the creating an authorized view in the Google BigQuery. So now I'm going to delete the IM also. So that's it friends. So we have successfully uh, created an authorized view in BigQuery. We have successfully created an authorized view. We have created an authorized view in a Google BigQuery. So that's what we have done this demo. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.